First at noon, life in prison without the possibility of parole. A judge handing down that sentence today to a man who admitted to killing a young woman and badly injuring her boyfriend in 2013. Not in your sides, Kristen Swilly spoke with the family about what this long awaited verdict means to them. For people involved in every aspect of this case, it was an incredibly emotional day in court. When the judge handed down that sentence to Jalil Smith Riley, he became very emotional, even collapsing at one point. But the families of those victims tell us this is way too little, too late. Four defendants serve a term of life without parole. As to count four for the offense of attempted murder. This reaction from a confessed killer was the last in a series of intense moments in this Hamilton County courtroom and exactly what the victim's families asked for. I have to deal with life without portion, so he should deal with life without, without parole. With his request to withdraw his guilty plea denied and death penalty off the table, the families of Portia Brooks and Aaron Martin pleaded with Judge Charles Kubicki to hand down the maximum sentence. Smith Riley's family begged for a shorter one. With no criminal record outside of that night, they believed he had the capacity to be rehabilitated. But at one point, Brooks' mother, Sharon, said her daughter's killer took her life too. Now she says her family can move toward peace. Right now, it's dark. Um, I'm sure with the help of my, my family, my daughter, my, my, my son, I'm sure I'll be able to one day. But um, this day marks the first day of being able to do that. During today's hearing, Smith Riley's attorney said he has never had a client try and reverse a guilty plea in a murder trial. It's a decision he says he advised against. Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side. Chris